In this video, you'll learn how to find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for the element hydrogen. We'll use these rules here, the periodic table, and then we'll try to visualize what's happening to help us really understand and remember. Let's get started. So let's take a visual approach here to figuring out the protons, neutrons, electrons, and then the mass number for hydrogen. So as we start out, we look at hydrogen, let's add one proton. And as soon as we do that, we see this is hydrogen. There's one proton, it's hydrogen. And that one is also the atomic number. So the atomic number, that's the identity of the element, and it's the number of protons. If we put two protons, it wouldn't be hydrogen anymore. So hydrogen always has one proton. Hydrogen on the periodic table is a neutral element. Its number of electrons and protons are the same. It doesn't have a charge. Right now we have a positive charge. So if we add one electron, now this is neutral. So in our table, we should put one electron for hydrogen. So, so far, we know hydrogen has one proton and one electron. Most of the hydrogen that you'll find in a sample is going to be this form. It's not going to have any neutrons. So in our table, we'll put zero for the number of neutrons. The mass number, that's protons plus neutrons. So one plus zero, that's going to be one. So the mass number for this form of hydrogen is one. And most of the hydrogen that you'll find will be this form. Some of it will have one proton and one neutron. And the only thing that's going to change is the number of neutrons. Now we have one and then the mass number because that's protons plus neutrons. So we have two for our mass number. This is considered an isotope of hydrogen. It's called hydrogen two. If we add one more neutron to it, still hydrogen, We've got two neutrons, and our mass number is three, and this is unstable now. That means it's going to be radioactive. There's a little bit of this in nature. You'll find some of this. This is called hydrogen three, tritium. We can add one more, and really you don't find any of this in nature. So hydrogen four, hydrogen five, hydrogen six, seven, and so on. You won't find those in nature. They're just too unstable. They don't exist. Let's talk about how the mass number in our table is related to atomic mass on the periodic table. So in our chart, when we have a mass number of one, that means we have one proton. So for this isotope of hydrogen, the mass number is one. If we have one proton, one neutron, we have a mass number of two. The number on the periodic table, that's a weighted average of these three. Because most of the hydrogen we find in a sample would be hydrogen one, it's pretty close to one but these are heavier and they'd be in the sample too. So the average would be about one, a little more. So that's why the atomic mass is a decimal. So now that you know about the protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for hydrogen, pause and complete this table. This will lock it into your memory. So if you didn't get these answers, go back, watch the video, check and see where you're having problems. This is Dr. B with the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for hydrogen. Thanks for watching.